Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is 27th lecture and today we will understand about timing across different clock domains. Alright, let's get started. So timing across clock domains could be slow to fast or fast to slow also. And here we have taken the example where it is slow to fast first, then we will later on see the fast to slow also. So in the slow to fast clock domain means the launch flop is slower and the capture flip flop is faster. So here we have taken the example where launch flip flop has a divide by four logic in the clock path. That means that clock is actually four times slower compared to the capture clock path. So to create a clock with slower in the launch side and faster in the capture clock path, the command would be something like this. If you see create clock hyphen CLKM, then period is 20 units. So it could be let's say nanoseconds. So 20 nanoseconds would be the period in the launch side. So CLKM is your clock name in the launch side and then create, create clock CLKP with period of 5 is your capture clock path. So if you see why, if you see that divide by four means it is actually dividing the frequency by four. That means it will multiply the period by four. So that is why if your period was originally five by divided by four means it is actually increasing the period four times in the launch path. So the clock here, it is CLKM, which is going to the launch side and originally it will be CLKP, which is going to the capture clock path directly. So obviously you can see in the waveform also it is 2.5 and it is 10. That means if 10 nanoseconds is the first half cycle would be so it would be 2.5 nanoseconds in the half cycle. Period is 20. So that is why it is mentioned like this. The command to mention the clock like this only. Now let us quickly analyze the timing in terms of waveform that how tool will analyze. Let us say this is the waveform. So this is you can say that it is four times the waveform of the capture side. So if this is your CLKM waveform, the below one would be CLKP waveform. So you can see that if the data is launched here, there are four clock cycles in between and timing is actually four times. Now if you see when the data is launched at this edge by default tool will capture the data at this edge and for hold analysis the data will be capturing at this edge this is the by default case let us assume that intention is not to capture the data on the very next edge that is this edge so let us say our intention is not to capture the data on this very next edge of clkp but to capture the data on every fourth edge so fourth edge will be one two three and then fourth so let's say we want to capture the data and on this edge this is active clock edge which is fourth edge because the clock period is also four times slower so now this assumption gives the combinational logic between these flip-flops four periods of the clkp to propagate which is 20 nanoseconds in fact and when we were capturing by default it was actually giving only the half that uh, only the one fourth that is five nanoseconds so this way your combinational logic gets more time in the capture side so this you can do by setting the multi-cycle specification we can specify the multi-cycle path in setup mode like this so the command will be set multi-cycle path and then hyphen setup that is setup mode and hyphen from you have to give the clock name in the from so that will be launch clock then you have to give capture clock so we have given that and then hyphen end specifies that the multi cycle of four will actually refer to the end point or the capture clock when we use this multi cycle path command what tool will do is tool will analyze the setup from this edge and with respect to this edge so the launch edge will be this and capture it will check for this edge that is multi cycle of four and by default tool will check one edge before for hold so hold will be checked at this edge and setup will be checked at this edge in most designs this is not the intended check and the hold check should be moved all the way back to the place where the launch edge is and we can do this by setting the multi cycle on the hold command to do that is this so with this command you can set the multi cycle path of three you can see this three on hold so it will set the multi cycle path of three on hold 
check on hold check actually from this clock to, to this clock and here also you have to specify hyphen end as a reference so with this command what will happen is tool will not check hold here it will check setup because set, setup we have set for multi cycle path of 4 on this edge but when we specify this command the hold check will move from this edge to this edge why because now by default it was this edge but we have specified multi cycle path of 3 for hold check so 3 edges back 1 2 and then 3 so this is your third edge this is your second edge and this is your first edge which is by default so third three edges it will move back and it will check on this edge now for hold that will be your zero nanoseconds here if you see that is beginning so the distinction with the setup multi cycle path is that in the setup setup capture edge moves forward and in the hold cycle hold check edge moves backward from the default hold check edge here hyphen end option is there this implies that we want to move the end point by the specified number of cycles which is that of capture clock so we are specifying three clock cycles here for end point so that means we want to move the end point by three clock cycles for check and instead of hyphen end the other choice is hyphen start option which specifies the number of launch clock cycles to move and hyphen end option specifies the number of clock capture clock cycles to move hyphen end option is a default for multi cycle setup and hyphen start option is a default for multi cycle hold that's all for this video we will see fast to slow clock domain analysis in next video there are more concepts in further videos please like share and subscribe to the channel please don't forget to give your important feedback in the comment section thank you